We're there, man. We're back at the uh, Texan RV park. Getting ready for our NRVTA course. They're working on our upgrade over here. A couple of the students that were in the solar class that helped install the first setup are helping with the upgrade today, too. Well, they're back there working on our setup, yeah. upgrade, uh -huh. but that's not what this video is about. No. This video is about Leslie learning how to work on our RV. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because here's You're what's going to happen. It. <laughs> <laughs> so you already spoiled it, man. And I was like, this is what's going to happen. We're going to go to school. We're both going to learn all this stuff. Leslie will remember it, or she'll remember where it's at in the book or how to reference it. Yeah. I will remember nothing. Yeah. I will probably be a class clown <laughs> and I won't remember how to do any of this stuff. I'm going to be your backup brain. Yeah. So then when something goes wrong on the RV, Leslie's not going to fix it. No. She's going to re explain <laughs> to me how to fix it. It's early. Very early. What time is it? 7.30. 7.30. Day one. RV fundamentals. Mm -hmm. I'm excited though. Yes. I'm excited to do it. So this video, what we're going to talk about is we're basically going to show you and tell you what it's going to be like to go through RV fundamentals at the end of VTA. We won't be able to film a whole lot in there. So yeah. what we'll do is at the end of the day, we'll come back and we'll talk to you a little bit about what we did on each day. So you know what to expect if you do come through the course. This is a little bit different than regular RV fundamentals because this is the Alliance Academy yeah. and they're doing it like a little rally. Yeah. So we got more events going on than you normally would during the RV fundamentals. And they also send you out, like, uh, before you come here, a week, weeks before you come here, they send you out this list of tools that you need to get. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have no idea what we're going to get into. I know that we are going to cover electrical. I know we're going to cover water heaters. And I know we're going to cover probably air conditioners. Just, like, probably. the basic stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a Water. tsunami of information. Oh my gosh. So not only are we going to come back at the end of each day and tell you what we were learning, we each are going to have to talk about something that we learned that day. Oh God. So okay. prepare yourself okay. while you're learning, get ready okay. because at the end of every day we're going to say, okay, this is what I learned. Alrighty. And then at the end, you'll have a good gauge of whether you think it's worth it to come to the school or not to do the RV fundamentals. <laughs> my brain's fried. Mine was fried about 45 minutes into oh it. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I was like, I am not smart enough to be here. I was expecting to get about as much information out of the whole week as we got in the mm -hmm. first day. Yeah. <laughs> That's my, that was my mentality. It was a lot, man. Yeah, it was a lot. So, we said that at the end of every day, we would talk about something that we learned, and uh, we just learned so much that I don't even, it's hard to even pick one thing. Or to yeah, even regurgitate one thing. Yeah, because there was a lot thrown at us. All right, what's your one thing? What'd you learn? I learned that inverters take low voltage DC and change it into high voltage AC. Hey. And converters take high AC to low DC. Yeah. Look at me. Look at you go. <laughs> and so, and, and I'm gonna kind of go on the same lines of what you're going on okay. because, so I've heard of people having issues with putting their landing gear down or yeah. putting their slides in or out if their battery is dead. Up. Yeah. So if your battery's dead, what happens is when that conversion happens and it's trying to convert that high voltage AC to low voltage DC to the 12 volts, if your battery is dead, it won't, because those systems run off 12 volt yeah. and it's trying to pull that from your battery, if your battery is dead, those systems won't work. Yeah. And so a lot of people think that you have to recharge your battery to get those systems to work again, which is not, not the case. Not, yeah. Because what the, what, what the converter is trying to do is, it's trying to prioritize. Yeah. So when you plug into shore power, you can't just plug into shore power and run your slides and your, and your leveling 
your your landing gears. Yeah. Because the priority for that system is to recharge the battery. Yes. And so all that power is pouring into charging the battery, not pouring into running your, your slides system. or your systems. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is disconnect the battery. Yes. If you're hooked up to shore power or your generator, disconnect the, the negative side of your battery. And then the priority is now to run those run systems, systems. So not to recharge the battery. The gear down and your yeah. slides out. So you don't have to sit there and wait for it to recharge your battery. Yeah. Just disconnect your battery and it'll, your stuff will work. work. Yeah. I didn't know that either. So that's good to know in, yeah. in a pinch. It is. Yeah. Whether we remember that <laughs> when it ever happens, <laughs> it's a whole nother thing. But today, I know, I know stuff. stuff. <laughs> Tomorrow, I can't make a promise. <laughs> yeah. And tomorrow's even more electricity. More electricity tomorrow. So expect two days of electricity. To hear more about what we learned about electricity tomorrow. <laughs> what do you think, Scout? He he's says, ready for bed. He says, as long as I have heat, <laughs> he doesn't care. All right. Did you learn anything today? I learned lots of things today. Yeah, and I forgot to mention yesterday when we did our update on what we learned. I forgot to mention we did some labs yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we did some more labs today. So total, we have done six, six labs. different labs. So they do theory in the morning and then labs in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. labs is like the hands-on stuff, which, which is better for me. For you, yeah. For learning. So we did, we learned how to put batteries in series and parallel. Mm -hmm. And we learned a little bit about water systems, just a yes. little bit. And we learned a little bit about refrigerators mm -hmm. and polarity. Yes. Polarity we did today. Yeah. And you played a, a nasty trick on me. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> this was just going to be for B-roll, but now this is going in the video for sure. I, I don't know if you saw the camera shake or not. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this wasn't nice. I was just minding my business, shooting some B-roll. <laughs> And you had to uh, you were you were a little fiery today. <laughs> a little fiery today. Alright, no more shenanigans. I'm filming for B-roll. <laughs> Look at Leslie today. Showing out. <laughs> I have to make learning fun, otherwise it's not fun. Well, I I know for myself yeah. and after day one, because it was a lot of information thrown at you and you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> If the learning is fun, I'm more willing to learn and you'll hold my attention. Yeah. If you're just spewing out facts and numbers <laughs> to me, my mind goes off into La La Land. I go, I go have fun in my head somewhere. I'm like, <laughs> okay, you're boring me. I'm going to go play out here in the yard. We learned a little bit about air conditioners, capacitors, and yeah. compressors. Yes. And how to check those with our voltmeter. Yeah, that I found interesting. And then converters and inverters. Converters. Which you Which already is, talked about yesterday about yes. the thing that you learned. Yes, and it's a hot topic for us because we just got solar. So yeah. today... Take away. I mean, I learned a lot. Yeah. But today, what are those called? The plugs. The 30 amp plugs and the 50 amp plugs. Mm -hmm. I learned that on the 30 amp, only one hot leg. Yeah. And the 50 amp's got two hot legs. Yeah. And that 30 amp max output of wattage is 3,600. And on a 50 amp, the max output of wattage is 12,000. So 50 amps is much better. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just 20 extra better. amps. It's a lot more a lot extra lot amps. more. Which is cool. And so what I learned today, my little tidbit for the day, is I learned how to, with my molt meter, yeah. check to make sure that the pedestal at the campground is safe. Yes. Wired appropriately. Yes. And then you're able to plug into it without frying your system. Okay. Without just plugging in the watchdog. That's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> it's the end of day three. Yep. I'm so excited to tell you my thing. That I, but but first, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pace myself. I can't get too excited, but but I'm very excited to tell you my thing uh -huh. that I learned on day three. But first I want to talk about the labs, okay. which are very informative today. Yes. We talked about bearings, slide outs and slide walls, and and my takeaway. Yeah. Which is hot skin. Never heard of it before. Ever. Didn't know it was a thing. Yeah. So yeah. hot. I wish. But I did not know that you could have something going on in your rig. Faulty something that's charging your rig. Yeah. It's electrifying your rig. And can zap you. If yeah. you like tried to step out on your metal steps. You or can... 
you know, just touch anything on the touch grade. anything yeah. yeah and that's why when anybody comes a tech comes to work at your rig when they show up and knock on your door they touch the back, the back of their hand yeah. well yeah electricity constricts muscles so if you yeah. grab onto a rail or something it's got it's got and you. now it's got you. you yeah but yeah, if you so the back of your hand it'll throw it it'll throw it back it'll still get you but it, it'll throw yeah. you away yeah yeah that blew my mind i didn't know that was a thing so that's a good takeaway and now i'm ready for my takeaway i know what your takeaway <laughs> is check this out so your lp uh, detector which some people call it a propane detector it's not just a propane detector it's an lp detector it so it detects propane butane and methane. So do you know what that means? So some of you already know where I'm headed with this. <laughs> you could set off your LP detector with a fart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds terrible, but it's true. I mean, it's I, mean like, I don't know how, how much you got to like get in, get in there. How close you got to yeah. get to it. Yeah, you might have to like really get in there. Just but really blast you, one in. <laughs> you, you, you could. You could sit down in front of it and apparently set it off. So now... I know that someone that's watching is going to try Well, one has either done it or is now Somebody going to do it. <laughs> if you have ever set off your LP detector by a fart, you have to leave a comment. I mean, you... it might be a party thing. People might be... <laughs> do it. It might be the new TikTok <laughs> thing. It'll be like the RV TikTok thing. Let me see if I can set off my LP detector with nothing but my ass. And, and that's just ew. <laughs> if you're going to watch a bunch of people break wind in front of their LP detector, like... You I'd, be, I'd be like... <laughs> And the day four. Thank God. Are you, uh... <laughs> I'm getting wore out. Getting done? <laughs> yes. All right, what'd you learn today? What's, what's the takeaway day four? Takeaway for day four is a little different than day one, two, and three. It's not so much that I learned to do something. I learned that I am not going to do something. I will not do annual maintenance on my refrigerator. I am not going to yeah. get behind it and clean the coils and grease the gaskets very and unrealistic in that's RV. unrealistic that is not happening it's not even that realistic in a house though. we never did it <laughs> and in the he house. talked about that that most people in their home won't even wheel it out on the yeah, casters and do that that's true i can't imagine people are doing it in the rv yeah and the reason that your takeaway was about that is today today was about refrigerators yes and we did furnaces and water heaters and, today yeah. too and then our labs we did what did we do we did propane, propane how to check for leaks yes we did uh, water heaters yes. and and refrigerators refrigerators yeah and yeah. the air conditioners the air conditioners a little bit of air right. conditioner maintenance today too but my takeaway is also refrigerators based oh yeah and so you know now that the rv industry has mostly gone to 12 volt refrigerators i had a little bit of envy yeah i was like i want a 12 volt refrigerator <laughs> But now, after going through the class, I don't think that I do. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Because Not 100 percent Todd right. made a good point, and the point is that it's such new technology, and that technology is only really being rolled out to the RV industry. There's not a lot yes. of use for it in any other Correct. capacity. So there's and, not a lot of parts. Yeah. So if something goes wrong, there's not a lot of parts available because it's such a new thing, and there's yeah. not enough demand to warrant manufacturing of replacement parts <laughs> so we're going to come back tomorrow and tomorrow we're going to talk about our takeaway for the entire Her, class okay what was your big takeaway mm. from the entire class no oh boy so stick around for just a few more seconds That's and you'll one. learn what <laughs> what we really got out of the class okay. as a whole oh boy. <laughs> that's a wrap thank god <laughs> bonus time <laughs> Yeah, well, let's not go that far. <laughs> hey, I took a test and I passed. No, well, yeah. And we tied. We did tie. Ninety-seven percent each. And we didn't look at each other's face. You were done way before I was. Yeah. I was stressing. Well, I have to dump it. I have to get it. I have to go. Yeah. I can't linger. Yeah. Because I'll forget, forget stuff. It. I gotta. I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. But it was really awesome, man. No, this week fun. has been so much fun. Yeah. We learned a ton. Um, we did it during the Alliance Academy for yeah. the fundamentals so that we had a bunch of allies here. Which we highly recommend. Yeah. If you're an ally, to come do it. Definitely, during the Alliance but, Week. Yeah. It's really cool. We did some potlucks. We did a lot of hanging out. Campfire hangouts. Yeah, and tonight, Whiskey with the Wags. Right. <laughs> it's the finale. <laughs> we had to do it on Friday night because... You know, you know, unless, yeah. unless you're taking the registered test yeah. tomorrow, you got nothing to worry about. You can hang out and drink tonight. <laughs> but it was really cool, man. Yeah. Uh, the Todd and the team, all the instructors, just awesome. Yeah. The, they are great. The, all the hands-on stuff was my favorite part. 
<laughs> yeah, I loved it. The storytelling behind a lot of stuff yeah. is is quite entertaining. But that's what gets you to remember. It does. That's what gets you like. Stick. Why is he telling me this? Yeah. But it helps you remember the it information really he just gave you. Purple so. monkey, red speedo, is pee on it and pee on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get that stuff if you, if you come, come here. You'll, you'll understand. understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was fun. What's your big takeaway? Whole week. As a whole, I would say, man, that. I do feel more confident in dealing with our own little yeah, problems that pop. I did too. I'd say he gave us the confidence yeah. that we can troubleshoot. We may still need a tech in the end, ultimately, yeah. but we may be able to weed out a bunch of other possibilities before calling that tech. Yeah. So I feel more confident about that. I, I learned that we are definitely hands-on learners. Yeah, for sure. The labs were phenomenal. The actual seeing the process and seeing things and getting to do it with our own hands yeah. helps a lot. It's better than just being in a room, somebody spewing yeah. out a bunch of information, you're taking notes. I would not have done well if that was the only, only thing. way to learn yeah, in this class. Exactly. So the combination of the two mm -hmm. is good. And there are people who are very much book learners yes and that's good for them for or me visuals. Hands -on visuals. Yeah. so my big takeaway is it's going to give us the opportunity that if we have something that we can't figure out on our own we have a tech come out they can't bs us yeah as much as they would be able as to in much. the past because yeah. they talk over your head and say big words that you really you understand yeah and you're just like yeah. well okay <laughs> all right you know so i'm gonna pay it and i'm yeah. gonna trust you to fix it so but now if there's an issue with the air conditioner i can go well, hey, can you show me the readings on your voltmeter? Yeah. From the compressor, from getting. the capacitor. Yeah. You know, and he's like, oh, crap, now i got to actually do work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't just BS these people. Yeah. Hey, they know what they're doing. They kind of know a little something. They have a knowledge base. This is not good for me. We know enough <laughs> to be dangerous. <laughs> it's just a little dangerous. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. But it was great fun. It's a lot of fun. We are going to go now because we have to go get ready for whiskey. Well, well we have our <laughs> alliance dinner tonight first. But then we got whiskey. And then we and then the whiskey. That's yes. the most important part is the whiskey. Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also want to give a shout out to Jason, the media guy. Yeah. Who does all of the camera work and all he the editing cool. for the NRBTA. Yeah. Really cool doing an interview with mm -hmm. him and hanging out. And he was busy doing his stuff. And Tony, who yeah. does the marketing, he was involved Came in and a took lot. Some pictures, and, and yeah, I can't say enough about everybody on the team who just did amazing yeah. stuff. They, they run their shop very well. Okay. Everybody knows their role and what's expected. It's cool. Well organized. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few more seconds. Mm -hmm. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.